Hey guys, welcome to the workout of the week. This one's a special one. I had a whole other workout lined up and I decided let's do a full metabolic core workout. So take you through what a full metabolic core workout is. It's a great one you can do right at home. This does involve a battle rope and I'm actually going to use a kettlebell in one, in one uh, section, but both of those can be alternated, so no worries whatsoever. Uh, this is a great uh, metabolic conditioning workout for your core as well. It kind of really targets the core. So um, have fun with it. I always like everything scale to you. This is an entire workout. You can maybe take in the middle, there's going to be like some Tabata type, 18 seconds on and 8 seconds off though. You can, uh, if you want to use this as a finisher, uh, just take a few of those Tabatas or maybe just the Tabatas in the middle um, at the end of a strength training session or just do the whole thing as a full workout. Um, get in and out. Love it. You're going to need a little interval timer, uh, but it's a great core conditioning workout. You can do it anywhere. You're going to absolutely love it. Uh, there's going to be a little kickstart round, so to start it off, you're going to set a timer for 15 seconds on and then 16 seconds um, off as you go to the next exercise. There's going to be three exercises, um, and you're going to go through that round, so all three exercises in one round, you're going to go through that four times. So the three exercises are first, you're going to either slow crawl or do mountain climbers. So down in this like, all four position, and you're just crawling as slow as you can trying to keep everything really low to the ground, your knees, your butt, and your chest low to the ground. Just crawling, creeping, creeping, creeping those limbs. Or, if that's too much on your shoulders and your joints and your hips, uh, just do mountain climbers. So from push-up position, nice tight plank, driving each knee up hard and tight to the chest um, at your own pace. But you are trying to go and pick up the pace and go, go, go. Second exercise are full body extensions. So we're gonna do a little half squat. Push the weight back into the heels though, keep your chest up, then you're gonna rise all the way up on your toes and extend, and then push your butt back into your heels and up on your toes. So it's not a roll forward, you're actually keeping your chest up, pushing your butt back in your heels, but then coming up on your toes. So you're transferring your weight from your heels to your toes. So you do that for 15 seconds, the buzzer goes off, then you're gonna do dead bugs. So on your back, arms and legs straight up together, and then the opposite leg, opposite arm go down, you're just going as fast as you can under control, not so it's hurting your back or anything like that. If you have to just bend your knees and do bent knees with dead, dead bugs, uh, that is fine too. Only going as low as you can. So that's around. Each exercise is 15 seconds, 6 seconds as you uh, switch to the next exercise. All three, four times. So just go right through. No rest in between rounds. Just go, go, go. All four rounds. That's the warm-up. So after that, there's going to be five different Superset Tabata. So there's going to be two exercises. You're going to go back to back um, until you've done each one four times. Um, a normal Tabata is 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. These we're going to do for 18 seconds on and 8 seconds off. So just slightly shorter. So this first one is where you're going to need some ropes for. So this is the first superset. If you don't have ropes, again, we will, um, we will modify these. So um, if you do have, if you do this in a gym, there are some battle ropes. You're going to do Alternating big arm slams, so keeping your chest up, these big waves and slams with your arms. So big waves and slams with your arms. If that's too much on your shoulders, just do half squat dices, like you're dicing onions, choppy, 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 choppy. If you can't, um, if you can't do, if you don't have ropes, I'm sorry, if you don't have ropes, you're doing this like in your living room, just do squat thrusts here, where we go down, jump our feet out, jump our feet up, and stand. Down, jump your feet out, jump your feet up, and stand. Or um, if that is too much, then just do uh, squats. So push your butt back, keep your chest up, press up through your heels, uh, 18 seconds of squats. Buzzer goes off after 18 seconds, you switch, you have eight seconds of rest as you switch to the next exercise, which is gonna be a side plank. So just on your right side, elbow, try to stack your feet and keep your hips nice and high. If you wanna make it a little harder, you can raise your leg and your arm, but try to let your hips sag down like that. Try to keep a nice tight upright hip. If the side is too much, just hold a normal plank. Once your butt starts sagging, if it does, just drop and rest, and then bring it back up. Then you're gonna go back to the ropes. So the buzzer goes off, you go back to the ropes, back and forth till you've done them all, till you've done them both four times. With the side plank, you're gonna go on your right side, next time left, then right, and then left. So you do each one of those twice. Once you've done each of them four times, buzzer goes off for good, rest, take a minute break, minute to two minute break, get a drink, then you're gonna to go to the next superset. So the next Tabata superset is gonna be knee taps and V-ups. So knee taps are gonna be this push-up position, nice tight plank, bring your butt up a little bit and touch your opposite knee, and then come back down to a plank, butt up, opposite knee. But you're gonna to try to go nice and fast. Not so much so you're arching way down like this, 
but just back to a plank. So quick up and down, quick up and down, fast, 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 back and forth. If you can't come up and down, up and down, that's stressful on your back. Uh, just maintain a higher butt and just touch your knee, touch your knee. Or you can even come down and do pledge planks. So hand to the chest, hand to the chest. Even if you have to do this right from your knees, walking your hands out. Build up to what you can do. So you're going to do knee taps, buzzer goes off, and you're doing V-ups. On your back, arms and legs straight up. Arms and legs go down together now, so opposite of a dead bug with a, with a, with a um, alternate. So arms and legs go down together, just as low as you can. Maybe you can only go a little bit and back up. Try to get them close to the ground and up. Back and forth until you've done them both four times, so eight total rounds. Next exercise is going to be, I'm going to have a kettlebell, and the kettlebell underneath uh, reaches. If you don't have a kettlebell, don't worry though. Um, and then the other exercise is high knees. So um, if you have like a dumbbell or any weight, just you can use any weight. Um, if you don't have a weight, don't worry. So I'm going to be in a push-up position, and I'm going to go underneath and grab this kettlebell, and I'm going to rotate it out to the, and I'm going to uh, drag it out to the other side. Then I'm going to come down, grab that kettlebell, and I'm going to be switching it back and forth, back and forth, so as fast as I can, keeping this plank. Now try not to let my butt sag or come way up. If if you don't have a plate, I'm sorry, if you don't have a kettlebell, uh, just grab like a plate, even if it's like a paper plate or a towel, and just try to keep this nice tight plank, and you're gonna be reaching for it, reaching for it, back and forth, keeping your hip up nice and high that whole time. If that's too much, just do forward arm raises, so a push-up position, hand up, down, hand up, back and forth, even if it's right from your knees. Uh, and then when you're not doing that, you're just doing high knees, so you're gonna try to run these as high and as fast as you can, so you're gonna get up, and just as high as you can, run these up high, high. Really drive your knees up, keeping an upright chest. If running is too much on your knees or ankles, just do standing high marches. Just flex those hips, flex those hips. So back to underneath the drags, and then um, high knees. Back and forth, we've done them all four times. The next superset are gonna be twists and jump outs. So on your butt, feet up, palms, palms together, and just twisting side to side, as deep as you can, trying to keep your feet up the whole time. If you have to unhook your hands and just twist, that's fine. Try to eventually get them together. If you have to hook your feet, it makes it a little easier. And even if you have to just drop your feet right to the ground for now and just twist and twist, eventually you'll be able to get those legs up and uh, just try to work on bringing them up a little bit at a time. Soon you'll be doing the whole thing. Um, and then jump outs, it's like just the bottom half of a squat thrust. So from this push-up position, just jumping my feet up, jumping my feet back out to a plank. Jumping my feet up, jumping my feet up, back out to a plank. You can just step them up, step them up, like a slow mountain climber, or just do mountain climbers. Uh, any one of those is good. One more superset. The last one's gonna be opposite limb reaches and hollow rocks. So opposite limb reaches are push up position and like a forward arm raise where we go up, um, only now our opposite leg is gonna go up. So I'm gonna go uh, left hand, right leg, and then down, right hand, left leg. Trying to keep a, a, nice plank, a nice tight plank in my hip, trying not to come down or up or stay up here and just kind of lift them up. If that's how you have to start, just eventually start to go down. If that's too much, either just do the forward arm raises again or focus on maybe just, just lifting up your legs one at a time, one at a time. Let it build over time. And then hollow rocks, uh, these can be pretty difficult, difficult for me. Um, you're going to be in this hollow position. So on your back, arms and legs kind of stay locked down straight. And I'm going to rock up, and then I'm going to rock back and bring my legs up. Now, I'm not swinging my arms, so I'm not like swinging my legs and then swinging my arms up. They kind of stay locked in this position, but I'm just rolling up onto my butt, and then kind of coming up into my little back, but just rocking back and forth, back and forth. Um, and if that is too much, just do in and out. So bringing your feet in, then go out and in, out and in. If you had to hook your feet, makes it a little easier. If you can't go in and out, just do flutter kicks, even if it's right from your butt and your legs on the ground, one at a time, or just flipping them back and forth. So, uh, sure I didn't miss anything. I lose track of I lose track of things easily. That's the five Tabata supersets or 18-8 supersets. So with like a minute to two minute break in between each one, go, go, go. You want to push those as hard and as fast as you can. You're only limited by your ability to push a little harder. So if they seem easy and uh, you're getting through them all, you could probably push it a little harder. If you're really struggling halfway through, modify, scale down. Um, you can shorten the time of Tabatas, maybe just do two of each, start where you're at and scale your way up. Uh, and then to finish, um, we have a finish around, so take a couple minute break after all five of those. And then we're gonna do a plank and movement finisher. So five rounds, um, 
30 seconds of some type of plank, and then you're gonna have a certain amount of exercises, a reps of an exercise to do in 25 seconds, and then when the buzzer goes off, you start your next plank. So it's gonna look like this. You're gonna start with a normal plank, so this is a normal elbow plank, nice flat butt, um, nice tight plank. If your butt starts sagging, just drop and rest. So you're gonna hold this for 30 seconds. Once that buzzer goes off, of a 30, 25 timer, you're gonna have 25 seconds to uh, get up and do 20 high knees. So just like those high knees that we did, drive those knees high and tight, or just up and down, up and down. Once the buzzer goes off, you're gonna do a left side plank. So just hold that left side plank for 30 seconds. Once the buzzer goes off, you have 25 seconds to go back over and do 20 of those twists each side. The high knees and the twists, that's 20 each side. Then you're gonna do a hollow hold. So like the hollow rocks, only you're not rocking. You're just holding this hollow position, straight arms and legs as low as you can. If you gotta bring them up higher, bring them up higher. If you gotta stop and rest, stop and rest. 30 seconds of a hollow hold, then you got 25 seconds to do 20 pledge planks. Push up position, hand to the chest, hand to the chest, hand to the chest, hand to the chest. Um, keeping that nice tight plank. Then you go into a right side plank for 30 seconds, and then those 20 twists again. Then the very last one is back to a normal plank for 30 seconds, and finishing with those 20 high knees again. You can modify this one by doing a more or less time plank, any of the planks, or um, adjust the reps up and down of the exercises. So maybe you do 15 reps of each or 10 reps of each, or maybe you're a superstar and you do 50 reps of each. I have no idea. Um, but scale it to you. You want a, a few uh, seconds of break, though, in between there before you hit that next round. But that's the whole thing. A kickstart round, a nice little Tabata workout in the middle, and then a finisher round. If you have ropes and a kettlebell, that's great. If you don't, that's also great. You can do this right in your living room. You can do it right in a classroom. You can do it anywhere. It's a, it's a beautiful week. We're in December. Perfect week to get fit. So let's get fit this week.